Now, as we talk about Rowley, under all of that that we've spoken about, under the flooding, the incompetence of the PNM, they are coming to take more money out your pocket to give Noel Garcia to give out contract. And if somebody get the contract wrong, B Mobile will say, Oh, there was a glitch, and the other company that they want to give it will be allowed to come in late, and then they will miraculously be the one woo, who win the contract. Just they're going to give you property tax now to take more money out of your pocket to fuel the 510 recusals in four years, which is now about 720 recusals. They come in to give you property tax. Listen carefully. And they lied about it. Call me lied and said it was in the manifesto. Anyway, run it, Archie. It will explain. Last question, please. Rear Ampli, CNC3. One of the more contentious issues in the last general election was that of the property tax. Where in the PNM's manifesto is this addressed? It's not in right. the document. This is one of the things let we me, need to talk to people about. Let me take, Just that, like let, the let other me take that one. I'm glad you raised that. I heard a UNC minister, I think it was the famous Prakash Ramada, <laughs> telling people that the PNM will bring back the dreaded property tax. Let me make it abundantly clear. The property tax has already been dealt with. So for anybody in the government now to be telling the population that this PNM coming into office will bring back that tax is the highest level of dishonesty, which has been the hallmark of this UNC government. So I'm Minister of Finance. Madam, Madam Speaker, I beg to move that a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Property Tax Act, Chapter 7604, be forthwith read a third time and passed. Honorable Members, the question is that a bill entitled An Act to Amend the Property Tax Act, Chapter 7604, be now read a third time and passed. All in favor say aye. aye. Any against? No. I think the eyes have it. Madam President, this matter of the property tax, this tax, I want to tell the Honorable Minister of Finance, is dreaded, it is draconian, and the people of Trinidad and Tobago, particularly the working man and woman, cannot afford at this time to pay any property tax to respond to senator mark i reject his assertion this is not an onerous imposition i reject his assertion with respect to the population not in support of this we have put it twice in our general election manifesto Last question, please. Rear Ampli, CNC3. One of the more contentious issues in the last general election was that of the property tax. Where in the PNM's manifesto is this addressed? It's not in the document. This is one. Is this addressed? It's not in the document. This 24 senators voted for, six senators voted against, and zero abstentions. As such, the question is put and passed. <laughs> Reach. 
in Arab Wells and St. Joseph. If we were like them and local government was working, we wouldn't mind paying tax. But we are paying them. Then the Honorable Minister posted that $540 to $2,700 extra a year is fair. The Honorable Minister of Finance said that is a fair tax. Now how he determined that, I would love to know. Because a fair tax, if you have money, you could say that that might be fair. But when you take away fuel subsidy, and you put online 7% tax, and people lost their jobs, and no increase, and you offer them 0.001011%, and inflation is at 45% for food since 2015, and the medicine has gone up by 75%, when $100 you go in the grocery and you come out with two bricks and a piece of cheese, when the grocery now cutting up cheese and locking it in a cabinet because people stealing cheese, those are the conditions out there. What you coming to tell me about a fair tax? You don't take away the fuel subsidy. So anybody with a car, already 56,000 cars, the smaller cars, the Tida Wetman, the B13, the them kind of cars, they off the road. Because men have to determine when to use the car, when to use the gas. Should I use it to pick up my wife from work or the children from school? Children, or they take maxi. I have to go for the wife because her shift late. That's how people are operating in this country. And y'all PNM so out of touch. You come to say that 540 to 2000 and 2700 extra dollars is fair. And when you have zero, how that could be fair? That means you're going minus 2700. Y'all are not aware of what is out there. You think the crime is just escalating what? Because Trinidad Tobago, we just have a bad gene. The social conditions are horrendous. The gap between the rich and the poor is being exacerbated every day by policies of no care. And you can hear it in that, how could a minister of finance come in the Senate that is being live to the country and say 2,700 is fair. If I hand out 2,700, how are we going to pay that? Fair or unfair? It is oppressive. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard Colman but lying, saying that it was not in the manifesto, first of all, when asked by Rio Rambali, and then come in the Senate and say, the people chose to pay property tax because it was in the PNM. Two PNM manifestos, a blatant lie by the Dwen. And they come in and forcing property tax down your, your throat to say local government will get resources. And they are saying by themselves that it's because there's no money allocated to local government that they, you have to take a tax. And when you pay, the money will go to the corporation. First and foremost, the residential that they're forcing now in the law that the PNM is forcing down your throat with the support of the nine PNM independence and you saw PNM <laughs> celebrating taxing you, you know. The PNM government celebrating taxing you with Amory Brown and Paula Gopi Schoon and Rohan Sinanan and Richie Sukai knocking the table happy as you get no service look the first piece of rain everybody flood out because the pnm does not allocate resources to local government all the corporations including dego martin that they're in control of but you all have to understand this election coming august 14th some people call it local government small let me tell you anything name election is huge thing because we have to get rid of the PNM at every level and keep them out for 10, 15, 20, 30 years. Let them splinter and splinter and break up into new things, break up into new, get logo and new colors and so on. You have to get rid of the PNM. It is a curse on this country. By Keith Christopher, nasty goat weed, Rowley. Play it. Because we have been engaged in legal battle and obstruction by the UNC in preventing the government from operationalizing the property tax law. You have to ask yourself, 
why is it they are so hell bent on preventing this tax from being collected? Keith Rowley wants to punish the people of our country who are already struggling by implementing his new property tax. But here's what Keith Rowley had to say in Parliament about the same property tax back in 2009. As reported in the hand side of the Parliament, Keith Rowley said, In my own constituency, there is anger, anxiety and resentment at both ends of the spectrum. They have brought the tax at the worst possible time, alluding to tough economic times. Rowley also rejected the idea that property tax would help communities Instead, it would bring further hardship. He said, I know a lot of people for whom $100 is a lot of money. A lot are struggling to make ends meet, said Rowley. Rowley also chastised the PNM for asking people to pay property tax while his own constituents could not even get water in their taps. Any hike in such water rates under the property tax, Rowley said, would now amount to provocation. If you try to defend the indefensible, you will create resentment and provoke people. And that is what we have at the moment, said Rowley back in 2009. But now, by implementing the property tax, Prime Minister Keith Rowley is defending the indefensible.